darlings hello beautiful people hello hi welcome back to my channel my name is Baba Lucy Bay and I am a South African booktuber so on today's video we are going to review three books and I hope I will be shot on each review because you know your girl can talk and talk and talk and talk but yeah Without wasting any time, let's get started. The three books I am reviewing for you today is Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. So I bought these books when I was, um, trying to be serious on my reading and these were the first books that i bought for myself and i was so proud of the purchase because i've always um listened to Timamanda's talks on youtube and i just wanted to read her books so that you know i can just um be a part of her life so to say but yeah these are the books I read last month and I love them. I love these books. I love them so much. I love Chimamanda. I love her writing. I love her opinions. I love her detail in her writing. I love her style of writing. I love the reference to um some of the history in nigeria and if you want a bit of history from nigeria these are the books you actually all of all of the books reference to some history to this country and um reading these books just made me realize how gifted this lady is and how serious um, she is about her writing and about her, her career choice. I started with Half of a Yellow Sun, which is her debut um, book. This is a historical fiction based on the Nigerian Biafran War. And it follows a love story between... Um, Olana and the professor Odenigbo. So it starts off very nicely in the beginning, you know. Um, Olana moves back to Nigeria and she she moves back because she had made a decision to work in Nsuka where she would be staying with her professor Lava Odenigbo. The love story was so beautiful. In the beginning and then it just went south from there because of the war that started in Nigeria and this book this is I think from the trio this is my favorite I read this twice and I felt the same emotions I did when I first read it and I just loved this book so much so um olana has a twin and the twin is in love with a white man by the name of richard so we are taken through the dynamics and the politics of nigeria during that nigerian biafran war and we are taken from a time when these people have everything to when they have nothing and they are surviving with what they have and by surviving i mean um literally saving a bag of rice because the, because that's what you can afford to have you know when they had every they had everything they hosted um dinner parties they had um, a houseboy by the name of Ugu who I loved so much and who cooked for these people 
these people you know would eat and sometimes leave food and um it didn't take their leftovers you know sometimes the food was thrown away and when they they now transition to the time when they didn't have anything they remembered those moments and i can imagine when right now i can eat whatever i want and then all of a sudden i have nothing and it's just like what happened you know it it felt like something that happened overnight but it was it they knew it was going to happen although they thought it wouldn't happen and when they when it happened they were not prepared for it so this book is a definite must read so i'm, I'm not gonna waste any time i just yeah so the second book i read was americana another love story between um obinze and ifemelo ifemelu ifemelu and obinze meet in high school and they go to university together and they have this unique love between them you know this nice vibe between them and so if Emelu decides to move to america they were both going to move to america but obinze didn't get the visa and so he remained behind he moved to the uk and suffered quite a lot he was deported back home to nigeria and um he he got married he had a family he he was now rich in nigeria because of connections and there was something lacking which was ifemelo in femelo in america she also suffered quite a lot and she pushed you know but she she was very fortunate to to have these lovers um who helped her navigate this life in america in the beginning it was nice but she she got to a point where she she owned a condo and you know she could live that american dream life and so she also had this void and she moved back home so that she could reconcile with obinze and when she moved to nigeria it wasn't as easy as she had hoped or they both had hoped you know it wasn't just um a love that was picked up from where they left off you know they faced challenges and um eventually obinze chose ifemelu and that's how the book ends not happy with the ending though i feel like this couple will go through a lot of challenges again during their relationship i mean there's a lot at stake in this relationship but um i appreciate the writing i appreciate the story and the ending although i didn't love it it stuck to my mind you know um when ifemelo said ceiling come in the end you know and yeah that's how she left us another from um half of a yellow sign what happened to all oh, to what's olana's twin okay nene what happened to her oh come on the ending of this book we definitely need a part two we do need a part two can we do like a petition of some sort so that we can know what happened to Kenene? At least if you know she died, you know, we'll, we'll have like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll, we'll accept. But that's not the word I'm looking for. You know the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, anyways, I didn't like the ending on both these books because they left me thinking of possible endings of um what would happen you know and i was just like 
Chimamanda, come on. These books need different endings so that we can... Um, you know, this word is here, but it doesn't want to come out. Ah! Anyways, whatever. My third book, Purple Hibiscus. I love this book. In the beginning, I wasn't sure, and that's my problem. And maybe that's a problem that most readers have. Um, you read a book, and once you, you're done with the book, moving into another book, you sort of compare it and want it to have the same flow as the other books. So um, I, I sort of wanted that flow and this book didn't provide me that however it it made me appreciate chimamanda's writing so much because it is so detailed and it it captured me you know and in this book we are following um what's her name now Kambili and her family. Kambili comes from a rich family, um, a family that most people would imagine to be perfect, and it is not. The father, Eugene, I disliked this man so much. This guy is a Christian that will piss you off, literally. Like, but who? He disowned his father, this guy. And because his father was following Nigerian traditions and he wanted his father to convert, but the father didn't convert. So he was like, ah, do you, father? I don't want to be a part of your life. Sharp. So he's a very abusive man, this guy, to a point where... His family, you wouldn't find his family laughing out loud or being themselves until um, the kids, um, Kambili and Jaja, were now having at least a relationship with their aunt and her kids. And they sort of longed for that type of leaving a family where you could express yourself without fear and expressing is expressing yourself is just as simple as having that loud laugh that I always have and you know saying no to certain things that you don't want and so eventually though they they got that, but they got it because there was a sacrifice. And I approve of that sacrifice. God will judge whoever did that, but yeah, I, I loved it. And I am happy with the ending on this book, actually. I loved it. And yeah, so... We know that Hava Viela Sun is my favorite. And I, I can't choose between the two. But if I were to choose, I would definitely go for Purple Hibiscus. Because I love it so much. I, wow. Um, so, I, I don't know if I've reviewed these books enough for you to, to want to read them. But... I will tell you that the style of writing in this book was phenomenal. The storylines, the characters, the settings. Uh, I can go on and on about Chimamanda. I just love her so much. And I appreciate her, her effort in making these books what they are. And for me, as a reader, it just, 
um, it's just um, so fulfilling and it leaves you with some sort of satisfaction and that's what I look for when I read books and I find that most Nigerian books give me that and so yeah I would recommend these books for you I would if you've read them tell me which one is your favorite and why and yeah what you didn't like about them because you know we can't all love everything and yeah so this is my short review of three books <laughs> um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate you for watching this video and taking your time to comment and like and engage in whichever way um so yeah thank you again i will see you in my next video bye